Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Look at this junk. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Circumstantial. Cole, come take a look at this. We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Don't think this is anything. I don't think so. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. <laughs> I 
What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith & Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. about this. It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Officers Phelps and Dunn, can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, 
Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. jobs will be done by robots. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. You don't see that every day. You gotta be kidding. I could save all year and never afford that. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Schroeder, Harbin 
two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, tough guy? Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. You picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. You picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route.
we got things to do. Make it quick, you guys! The cops are here! We gotta move it! Cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. Real clever, asshole. I'm gonna find you. Is that a backfire? You're fucking. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before. He jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. <laughs> Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you! Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. I don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! You've got to be kidding! You fucking asked for it! No way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. You assholes already screwed me once. It's over, Bowers! Bowers, there's nowhere left to go.
Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Come on. What you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs>